and here in nutshell i'll discuss with you the seat belt syndrome what is sbs answer is seat belt syndrome you have to understand we all should agree that seat belt actually saves life but on the other hand not only it saves saves life but it increases the risk of thoracic trauma and abdominal trauma to 4 to 8 times but those traumas are not lethal always so seat belt syndrome consists of conditions associated with so this is conditions or you can say injuries so this is conditions or you can say injuries associated with seat belt and what are they let us try to understand they include they include a patterned abrasion a patterned abrasion the abrasion is having that pattern of the seat belt imprinted on that so patterned abrasion it can be associated with aortic aortic injury so aortic injury it can be associated with spine trauma it can be associated with your mesenteric injury mesenteric injury it can be associated when we talk about spine trauma what kind of trauma is associated at the level of spine distraction type of injury yeah so remember it can be associated with distraction injury distraction injury it can be associated with bowel injury bowel injury so a variety of conditions can be associated with this seat belt so this group of whenever seat belt is associated with multiple injuries this is what is known as seat belt syndrome now when we talk about mesenteric tear the classical mesenteric tear that we get so if this is the bowel and this is the mesentery here you actually have the tear this is the tear so this is again this is going to represent this is okay so if you see if you see this is again a mesentery and again you are having a tear here isn't it looking like a c uh, the seat belt induce uh, injury is looking like a bucket handle of a bucket and that is why this is known as classical bucket handle tear so bucket handle tear is the mesenteric tear so can you imagine this is the handle of the bucket and this is your bucket yeah so this is a bucket handle tear this can be associated with seat belt injuries to the mesentery the next is the most common site the most common injury associated with blast when we talk about blast when we talk about blast the most common the most important in site is the place where actually the shock waves will damage or have the impact and therefore remember it is the tympanic membrane it is the tympanic membrane which is the most common site so tympanic membrane greater than lungs greater than small intestine please a humble request to you be it above water be it under water don't remember your undergraduate days when you used to say that small intestine is the most common organ injured in the underwater blast in underwater blast also it is tympanic membrane